do we want Jack in Noster? We've had before, sure, we want his money and his support, but do we want the person that created the Twitter that failed, the Twitter that was addicted to advertising, and the Twitter that eventually got sold to one billionaire and now seems to serve his point of view, and even that not very well? Uh, similarly, if, if Zuckerberg was out there saying, this new decentralized Facebook is awesome, I can't wait for it to be a success, would we want him supporting our new decentralized Facebook? Victoria Jones, what do you think? Do we need these old, rich billionaires and all their sweet money? <laughs> uh, I don't know whether or not we necessarily need them. I think uh, people having too much money often creates distortions in the system. It's a little bit like Michael Saylor starting to suggest that, you know, he should create some kind of person personal verification on the Bitcoin network. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, now that he owns a big piece of the pie, uh, he wants to introduce ideas that are complete antithesis to what it's meant to be all about. Um, so, yeah, I mean, having anyone with too much resources in that kind of environment is a problem. And of course, this is the problem that we're experiencing in this end of the era that we're living through you know there are certain sectors of society it's been designed so that you know there are these individuals that have a disproportionate share of uh, the resources and certainly historically it's given them disproportionate power but of course the dynamics of all of that are changing um you know the difference with twitter was that it was a centralized organization and with centralized organizations government have some power over it but with decentralized organizations not so much uh certainly individuals with a lot of resources can probably uh influence things but their ability to control it completely will always be disrupted which is one of the main reasons why we support them yeah it's great that michael saylor has so many bitcoins but he gets as many votes as those who have zero Bitcoins. No votes. There's no vote to control Bitcoin. So it's great that he's acquired so many. Uh, if, it would be funny, though,